In this episode of Rob Krusty Hike Across America, we're back in our home state of Missouri, and I'm hanging with my son, Atreyu. We're going to be checking out one of the oldest and newest caverns in the state. We're at Crystal Caves here in Springfield. We just reopened after about 10 years of being closed. I'm here with Atreyu. I'm going to check out a cavern. It's going to be his first cavern. Now, the price of admission is roughly $26 for adult, $15 for child. They have a really cool vintage arcade, gift shop slash museum. They also have miniature golf and some other attractions as well. Now, Crystal Caves is the oldest show cave in the state of Missouri. And at the time of this video, it was also the newest as well, seeing that it had been closed for 10 years and just reopened. Now, I've been in almost every cavern in the state of Missouri, and I have to say, this is the poorest lit one. Most of the tour was done with a flashlight and just some ambience lighting. Upside down well, it's about 12 feet tall. And it is called the upside down well because whenever it is at its peak water flow, it will have a waterfall. And just in my opinion, this wasn't the safest cavern I've ever been in. Floors were kind of slick, the stairs were kind of steep, and the ceilings were kind of low, so you could hit your head on the ceiling if you weren't being careful. And just in case you were wondering, I hit my head twice. Remember, if you like this video and you want us to keep making more, please write Keep On Hiking in the comments. We appreciate it and it'll help us out greatly. So this rock formation is called the Washington Monument. It was so popular back in the 1920s that the Smithsonian Institute came in and made a replica of it and it's still in their museum today. Now, I was a little shocked to find out that this cavern doesn't have a claim that Jesse James or his brother once used it as a hideout. It seems like most caverns in Missouri make that claim, but there is one up by St. Louis called Merrimack Caverns that actually has proof that Jesse James might have actually been there. I'll leave a link to that video up top. Now just to forewarn you before going on this tour, there are quite a few places where you do have to crouch down where the ceiling's really low. So if you are claustrophobic, this is probably not the cavern for you.
Now, Crystal Cave wasn't the best caverns I've been into by any means, but nor was it the worst one. The lighting does need to be improved upon, and the slickness of the flooring. Otherwise, the tour is pretty good. It went on for a while and didn't feel rushed, so you felt like you got your money's worth. In the next episode of Rob Krusty Hack Across America, we head into Arkansas for our yearly family camping trip. We'll be going to the Devil's Den and checking out Moonshiner's Cave as well. So if you found yourself liking this video and you want to see more, please like, share, subscribe. There's plenty on the channel, more on the way. Until next time, keep on hiking.